Well, a truck driver dies after a train splits his semi in half. It happened this morning in Saudi Daisy. You can see here what is left of that truck here from our News Channel 9 Sky View. That's right. The Tennessee Highway Patrol says the truck stalled over the tracks. Our own Kelly Curtin has more tonight on what neighbors say they saw in the latest in this investigation. Kelly. Good evening, Latricia and Kim. The collision happened right here on Daisy Dallas Road and Hickson Street right here at the tracks you see right there. Of course, the scene has been cleared for some time now as this happened around 730 this morning. But Tennessee Highway Patrol says the driver inside, Stephen Moffitt, the company of the truck is Carter and Evans Trucking. The owner told us they lost a longtime employee and friend. Made a heck of a noise. That truck looked like it was laying on its side. A loud bang is what neighbors on Daisy Dallas Road say they woke up to. My brother heard the bang. My wife said she heard a little bang. Our News Channel 9 Sky View shows the collision. The truck split in half. The front on one side of the track and the trailer on the other. I figured somebody must have got killed. A report from THP says a truck stalled on the tracks just before 730 Thursday morning and the driver got out. The report indicates no gate lights were activated yet. The crossing arms were still up and no train was approaching at that point. But when a Norfolk Southern train traveling from Ohio to Birmingham, Alabama approached the crossing, the report says the driver was still on the tracks. The train hit him and then the truck. Norfolk Southern train released a statement saying the gates, lights and bells were activated and working once the train got to the crossing. The company also says safety is a number one priority and it quote advises motorists and pedestrians to stay alert around railroad tracks and be mindful of all of the warning signs and signals at railroad crossings. Lieutenant John Harmon with a similar message reminding drivers to be cautious to stop, look and listen. If you have problems with your vehicle on those tracks immediately leave your vehicle leave your belongings in that vehicle and get away from that track Carter and Evans Trucking did tell us that they are respecting the family's piracy and they would not release any other information about their employee. Coming up at 6, we did speak to one neighbor and hear what he has to say about what he'd like to see on these railroad crossings along Daisy Dallas Road. For now, reporting live here in Saudi Daisy, Kelly Curtin, News Channel 9. Kelly, thank you. According to the report, no citations were issued and no criminal charges are planned to be filed.